Hey, it's Bill, the computer guy. How are you doing today? Today we're going to talk about speeding up your computer Uh, first thing you want to do is go to start menu and then type in M S C O N F I G and search. Okay, so we got M S config. So this computer actually has a password on it. So at this point we can't go here because of the administrator password. But if you have your computer and you go to msconfig, what it'll come up with is a box that says start it. And you want to watch you can see all the processes that are running in your startup after you've typed the MS config. And you want to sh uh, unclick the ones that are starting up on your computer that you don't need. If you unclick them, then they won't immediately be running. You'd have to click on them in your regular program. So the next thing you might want to do is you might want to clean out your recycling bin. This has some stuff in it that's just sort of taking space. And you might want to dump that. Next thing you want to do is go to my computer, right click, and then manage. And then what we'll see here is I probably don't have privilege to go in here and manage this, but okay, so it looks like I do. We want to go device manager and left click on that. So it's, it says that I'm not logged in as the administrator, so I don't, I can't really do anything here, but what we're looking for here in the device manager is little yellow explanation points that tell us we've got issues and you can see here we don't have any issues with any of the software uh, hardware programs Now, if we click on, for instance, ports, basically what you want to do is you want to, if you have an issue, first thing you want to do is disable it and then enable it and then check for hardware changes or check for changes. If you can't get it the issue resolved and you'll have to go on the internet and download the particular driver for that device you may be having problems with. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to my computer and we'll go to local disk right click and then properties and we can see here that this has two thirds free space, which is good. We don't no, we don't want to have over two thirds full space because it may slow your hard drive action down a bit. Now we see here on the right the disk cleanup button. 
So basically you want to just clean up here. And so from here, this takes a little while. So you'll come up with a window here, just clean up for C, the main hard drive on your computer. And you'll see some options here to click. See the recycling bin has several items in it. Temporary internet files, 24 megabytes. Temporary file, 130 megabytes. One thing that you don't want to click is to compress old files. I don't ever do that. And so we just click OK and then be sure you want to delete, delete the excess files. So what this will do is it will clean up the temporary internet files that you may never use. So the next thing you want to go here is local disk C properties tools. Then we're going to go defragment. So, so from defragment we go to analyze this. We're, we're not going to defrag at this point. Okay. So basically, this one is not allowing me because I'm not the administrator on this account. Basically, when you go to defrag, you want to defrag your computer. If you click analyze, it'll show you if you need to defrag it or not. Then after you do that, you might want to do this one. Check drive for errors. And usually I'll uh, click both these automatically fix file system errors or scan and attempt to uh, recover bad sectors. So I usually click both and I'm not sure if this is going to work because I'm not the administrator but we'll give it a try. Okay so it's not allowing me to do that because I'm not the administrator. But those are a couple of things that you should try uh, to do if your computer is running slow. Now this one here we don't actually have internet access but I'm going to show you something here. about your browser. Okay, you notice up here we have only one address bar. Now, if you have some fancy looking double address bar with some weird name on it and all these little buttons and bells and whistles and all this crap, basically you have a whatever third party browser and so that means that basically someone has basically jumped on your computer and put their browser on. So if you have two of these sort of address bars and you've got a big huge toolbar coming down here halfway, not halfway, but just, you know, maybe almost a quarter of the way down your screen the V9 browser comes to mind. These are sort of third party browsers that basically say to you, wait, let us look and see where you're going and tell headquarters where you've been, keep a record of it and sell your sort of profile. So that's another thing that can slow your computer down. If you have sort of a third party browser, kind of another address bar thing going down here. We don't have it on this one, but if you have much more than say 
an inch here and you've got a bunch of these little buttons and whistles and crap up here then you've got some problems with your browser and what you might try and do is point to your browser and then right click on it and see what the options are to remove that extra stuff you got running there and if that doesn't help you look down to see which browser you have you have the v9 browser browser hijacker as I call it if you have that you just go into your search I usually search up here or I'll now this one actually has one of those hi hijacker browsers on it it's got this Volsterin Volsterin browser it's an excess bar that what track is tracks your information and sends it to Volsterin and so basically if you can't remove it by right clicking up here then what you need to do is just type in search or go to Wikipedia type in Wikipedia directly into the address bar up here on the top www.wikipedia.com and then when you get to Wikipedia and you want to search how to remove Volsterin browser or V9 browser or whatever kind of extra toolbar garbage you have up here that is slowing down your computer so that's a couple of things that help that may help you uh, run your computer faster and as you know I'm sort of a Linux advocate and so if you're fed up with Windows operating systems then I would advise you go to a Linux based operating system they run a lot more quicker normally and you can do just about as many things as you can with a Linux based operating system I prefer Linux Mint and so you can do a lot of things with Linux Mint that you can with Windows so that's your tip for today thanks for watching I hope this helped you if you need any help you can contact me at laptops repaired at yahoo.com laptops repaired at yahoo.com I do maintenance and reconditioning and repairs. You can also give me a call at 707-445-1591. Thanks.